What up, y'all? It's your boy Chance. Um, I do have an update for you guys. Um, and it's it's good, but it's not good at the same time. Well, it's, or I should say it's not good, but it is good all at the same time. So I invite y'all in so I can update you guys. <clears throat> Alright, so as y'all know, I've been going to the doctors back and forth quite a bit since my vocal blowout a few weeks ago. And today I wound up going like super in the early in the morning. It was like 10 a.m. when, you know, I went. So I had to be up like super early. But I got there. We were talking. And they did give me some good news. But it's also kind of bad. Um, the good news is I will be able to come back and to do my music. But the bad news is. It won't be for another six to eight months because they want my throat to heal because they did discover that there are that there are some stuff that that needs to be worked on that needs to heal. So I'll be able to come back, but it won't be for another six to eight months. <clears throat> um, they are surprised that I am talking considering the extensive damage that I've done. Uh, I didn't even know I had, had extensive damage to my vocals. But they are telling me that I need to stay away from music for at least six to eight months so that I can heal up so that my voice can get back to where it needs to be. But as soon as that does happen, um, they're going to put me through vocal training to get my voice back to where it needs to be. Which, it does suck, but there is a good side to it, though. Um, even though I'm out for six to eight months, I am focusing on a career in photography in the meantime. Doing a lot of freelance work and stuff like that. So, I've been doing a lot of photography lately. If you guys don't know, that's something else I'm very big on. Hey, Skitalo, what up, man? What, what, what's going on, man? But um, if you guys would like to see some of my work, feel free to go to my profile. You guys can follow me on Instagram. And if you guys would like to see my latest work, which I just up on YouTube, here is the link to that video. Oh, it's on, wrong one. I was sending my girlfriend, because uh, my girlfriend's a very big Roman Reigns fan like myself. Shout out to the big dog. But um, I'm going to be sending you guys the link to some of my latest work that I've done over the last few days. So you got for the photography that I'm doing. Um, I am ordering some lenses for my phone. Um, they are professional lenses, which is good. Um, I'll be getting that plus possibly a tripod. I don't know when that'll happen. But I did get a lot of really good pictures over the last few days. So if you guys check out my stuff, you guys can go check it out. Um, hang on. I will also be posting my Instagram in the comments as well on um, the video i just sent you the video i just posted that's to some of my latest work um this is actually my instagram where you guys can follow me so you guys can follow me on instagram i don't have twitter yet but i'm gonna be working on that don't yet have a fan page for my photography but if you guys don't know, also, things have been, you know, kind of on and off with me and my girlfriend due to her parents and family. But we are working, we are working things out. 
Um, she did finally get her prosthetic arm, which is amazing. Um, I finally got to see it today. It's all carbon fiber, lightweight, which is amazing. I absolutely love the design. They did really good with making that. So that's going good. But, you know, it does suck that I am out for six to eight months due to the injuries, due to therapy that I have to go through. It does suck. But in a way, I'm kind of seeing this as a blessing. I'm kind of seeing this as an opportunity to take a break from my music that I've been doing every day, nonstop, like just constant go, 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 just nonstop for the last eight to 10 years. So this is finally a chance for me to kind of get a break a little bit as well. So I mean, it's not all bad. It does suck that I had to blow out, that I do have to go through vocal training and stuff once I get done healing up. But in the meantime, I'll be able to focus on something else I'm very, very passionate about, something I've always enjoyed doing, which is photography, freelance photography. So if you guys are ever in the area and you guys do need a photographer, message me, let me know. And I will that work for you guys. Like, <clears throat> I'll be more than glad to do pictures like I do. The ones I'm mostly good with are like your creepy, dark, you know, scary kind of shots like I took of my house. Um, I'm very good with black and white, Sophia style. So if you guys need any pictures like those and you guys are in the Akron area, hit me up, let me know. Yeah, hey, you know, like, you know, like, I want you to do our, our pictures, and I'll be more than happy to do it. And once I do take the pictures, all you got to do is send me your email. I can send them to you. Oh, sweet. That's what's up, dude. So, I mean, all you got to do, if you're in the area and stuff, and we take the pictures and whatnot, all you got to do is give me your email, and I can email to you, like, that second, like, super easy it's not hard to do at all or if you have a phone number i can send them to your fur or whatever you want me to do um which what i would do what i would preferably do is since i do have to change the file type once i get back to the house i can easily take the photos back to here um i can message them to myself and then take convert the files and then send them to your guys email Um, the lenses I'm looking at are like, I think like 20 something dollars for professional camera lenses for my phone. And if you guys are wondering what kind of phone I use to take my pictures, I actually use a shitty government killing ZTE phone. So, and these are the apps I use, which are camera MX and Lumio Cam. I don't know if you guys can see or not, but those are the two apps that I use right there are Lumio Cam and Camera MX. Both are very good for photography, no matter your level, whether you're experienced, not experienced, they're both very good. They make pictures turn out very nicely. Um, also, I did recently get into Pokemon Go, so if anybody plays it, let me know, message me your friend code, and I will add you for sure. Um, the funny thing is, I actually live right near two Pokestops. There's one down at the lake where I take a lot of pictures, and there's one about half a mile up going up, you know, towards the community center up this way, which is really, really cool it's really convenient because i can just sit here and just go between the two so while i wait for the load and i show you guys my name and my friend code but uh, if you guys do play pokemon go let me know i will definitely add you Um, 
but uh, also if you guys are in Akron and you guys have any suggestions for areas or if you guys know Ohio very well and you guys have suggestions for, you know, good areas to take photos at, let me know and I'll definitely look into them. Uh, hold on here. I believe we got a couple Pokemon nearby, I think. Oh, I know. We're good. So give me just a minute and I will show you guys what Pokemon I do have so far. Alright, these are all the ones I have so far. And these were all caught within like the last few days. They got Trico, Swine Up, uh, Pikachu with hat and sunglasses, which I thought was cool. Um, I got Vulpix, Slugma, Fossil. Or no, I got two Swine Ups. Roselia and Charmander, which is my first. All right, let's see if I can remember how to do this here. But uh, like I said, if you guys know any good areas within Akron to take good pictures, which I do plan on going downtown um, here in the very near future, I do plan on that. Um, there are some railroad tracks nearby that I am waiting to. Oh, sorry about that, guys. But uh, there, like I said, I was about to say there are some railroad tracks that I am about to go down to as soon as I can get some lenses or as soon as I can get my hands on those lenses. Ah, here we go. But if you guys do play this, let me know. Here is my friend code. So you guys can add me. If you guys do play, just type in that code, add me. Um, I do play like every day. So like whenever I'm out and about and I'm out catching Pokemon, just let me know and I'll add you. Um, I did just recently get into this. So And the interesting thing, let me show you guys. I don't know if you guys can see or not, but down there in the corner, there is a Poké Stop, which I live right near. I don't know if you guys see that little blue thing down there on the edge. But I do live near a couple of gyms and actually a couple of Poke Stops. So if you guys do play, let me know. But these are all the stops that I actually live very, very close to within walking distance. Yeah. Uh, sorry about that. This thing has a bad habit of doing that. I apologize. But, uh, like I said, I do live near a, 
a bunch of poker stops considering where I'm at, which is convenient. It really is. Not going to lie. It's very convenient living near a bunch of different stops. Because I can literally just sit here in the mornings, grab a couple Pokemon, do a little photography, chill out, relax, go down to the poker stop, grab some more photos, you know, spin the poker stop, come back home, relax. But, uh, like I said, you know, I am going to be out for six to eight months, which does suck. I know you guys want to hear more music, and hopefully you guys will. But, like I said, I got to go through all this stuff, get well, go through vocal training again. I'm hooking me up with a vocal coach for my screams, which is really cool. So thank you, doctors. You guys fucking rock. But uh, with that being said, um, you know, I really do hope that you guys will support me in this journey into photography as I do get well. And who knows? Maybe this photography thing will be full time and I may not even go back to me or need to go back to music. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But I do thank you guys for supporting me and backing me up in all this. And, you know, and allowing me to, you know, not only get well, but to take a break from all this and to do something that I truly enjoy doing. Because like I said, like I said the other day, one of the biggest reasons I love doing photography is because, you know, I can tell a story through my photos. I can make you guys see the world through my eyes, through my perspective. I can make you guys see what I see and make you feel what I want you to feel through my photos, which I love. I love capturing the emotion. I love, you know, capturing life, the emotion, the rawness of it. I love it. That's why I love photography so much because there's no rules really to photography, like anything goes. And that's what I love about it is because anything goes. Like, you give me the ugliest thing you can think of, I can take, capture that image and turn it in, turn that ugly thing into something beautiful through my photography, which I love. I love doing that. But again, guys, that was just, a little update for you guys. Um, I will be going back now to the doctors at least every other week after this week. Um, this week, it's like every other day or so. So I will be doing that. But after that, it's going to be like every other week or so. Like, I'm not exactly sure. I still got to find out. But, um, yeah. Yeah. And once I get those lenses, you guys can expect some more photography from me. But over the course of these next few months, I will be promoting, you know, the stuff I already have up, the stuff I've already released, Olio. And if you guys know any companies that are looking for a photographer and stuff, like, within my area, let me know, please. Because I definitely am looking for a little bit of work doing that. Um, I could use that kind of work and that experience. You know, I can bring something unique to the table that not very many have, which is that rawness, that uniqueness that nobody else really has. But with that being said, I love you guys. I'm going to hop off here, watch a little bit of WWE here in a little bit, and chill with my girl and relax. And I'll see you guys later. Love you guys. And thank you guys so much for supporting me and what's going on. You guys are incredible. You guys are amazing. And I'll see you guys later.